Hey everyone, it's KJ, and it's Saturday again, so welcome back to FT Real M. I have a really important, totally FT Real M question for you guys to answer for me this week, and it is Olivia Benson or Elliot Stabler? Leave your answers in the comments below and tell me why. So this week's topic is sexuality, which is something I'm really excited to talk about, honestly, because I struggled for a very long time trying to figure out my sexuality and why it was so fluid and what that meant to me, to like future partners, lesbian, gay, bisexual, pansexual, asexual, queer, which is what I identify with. I am a queer individual. I like to keep myself in the queer community at all times. I don't have a preference in gender or in sexual preference. Um, I've dated a lot of cis women who have also been queer, which I find to be more comfortable for me because I need someone who understands uh, my queer identity. Sorry, I had to right there. It's a little darkness going on. Anyway, it, I didn't know I was queer my whole life. <laughs> my whole life. Since I was a baby, I was queer. Queer out the womb. But no, really. Um, around 14, I started to understand that I liked women, but it, I didn't feel like I was a lesbian. Never really identified with that. So I kind of ran with it. I was like, okay, I like women, that's it. And once I started getting a little older, probably around 16, I started having sexual feelings towards men. I really wasn't sure what that meant. I felt like I was wrong for liking both or any gender. And I started to explore gender and what that meant over the course of years, I'm, I'm 21 now, so over the course of those years, I realized that I'm just attracted to people, I'm attracted to personality, just the way people present themselves mostly, um, whether they're male or female doesn't stop me, whether they're not male or female doesn't like stop my feelings for anyone. I have really deep connections with most people. And that's how I find myself relating to people. And most of the people I relate to are in the queer community. And I'll talk to you a little bit about something that I thought would happen to me or that I had a fear of happening to me once I came out as uh, like male. As I told everybody that I was male. Most of my friends are female and they were either queer or lesbian. Um, because that was a group I identified myself with for a very long time, unfortunately. Even though I never was like, I'm a lesbian! It was like, I like women and everyone sees me as a woman, so therefore I attract women who like women. Once I came out as male, I was really, really scared of losing that um, community that I had, the, like the queer community. Or at least that's what I thought it was. I thought it was only those people that were like my queer community. But once I started realizing that um, that's not who I was, I started expanding that queer community and finding people who were just like me, making friends and making connections. And it was really, really great. I needed that in the point in my life because being queer was like the only thing I knew for a really long time and it still is it still is I'm a huge part of the queer community and I couldn't imagine what I would do to lose that like I can't imagine where I would be or what I would know or who I would be um, without that community currently I'm very happy in the relationship that I'm in so I mean if one day I end up dating a man that would just be how it is I can see myself with a man, and I can also see myself with pretty much anyone. Because that's just how I identify, I don't know. Oh. 
Okay, so this video is running on a little long. I just want to let you know that sexuality is fluid and f act on how you feel. If you're feeling someone, feel them. Because that's what I did and I've learned a lot from it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Uh